get ready for the dictation 10 seconds 5 seconds start mr speaker sir i would like to say a few words on the motion of thanks to the governor's address i must at the outset admit that the debate on the governor's address has been interesting members have expressed their considered views on some of the vital problems being faced by the people of this state as far as the handloom industry is concerned various problems are being faced by the weavers as long as this problem is not solved quickly it will largely affect the economy of our state this kind of problem is not very much appreciated by the people of other states because it is not a problem that faces them even though the government formulate various schemes for the benefit of the weavers of this state i think a lot more has to be done by the government and i request the government to take some serious view on this subject and do the needful in this regard the next point i wish to point out is about tax evasion i find that there is lot of evasion of tax by the business community taxes collected by the traders from the public are not properly remitted to the government they prepare the accounts in such a way as to how that they have collected only a small sum by way of goods and services tax and other duties in order to avoid such loss of revenue to the government exchequer i wish to suggest that the government should bring all the items under single point taxation if this is done it will not only help the public but also make the business community to pay tax i hope that the government will look into the suggestion which i am making and render justice to the public in general and to the society as a whole on the subject of public health i am glad to know that the health indicators are very promising when compared to other states in the country but i regret very much that the government cannot spend more money on some schemes which are meant for the benefit of the people the government allocates more money to school education department and various other departments i request that the health department also need more money so that more number of welfare schemes will be carried out i would like to say a few words on the subject of food it is a known fact that the government is receiving various awards from government of india on achieving highest food production in the state it is mentioned in the governor's address that the food situation is satisfactory but at the same time i would suggest that grains and pulses also may be supplied through fair price shops i request that the allocation of rice and other commodities for each shop 
may be considerably increased. In this connection, I request the government to take necessary steps to fix a fair price for paddy and wheat. Letter from the Royal Engineering Company, Chennai, to Mercer's Golden Agencies, Coimbatore. Dear Sirs, we are in receipt of your letter informing about the degrees in the sales of our products. We would like to state that the products we manufacture have a very good market all over the state. We have been receiving continuous orders for supply of our products from your neighboring districts also. We request you kindly to assess the situation at your end for the decline in the sales. We will always be at your service to assist you in boosting the sales in your area. In this connection, we would like to bring to your kind notice that there is very good market in Salem district for our engineering products as we are receiving continuous orders directly from various people. We would depute our representative to your district to know the actual state of affairs prevailing in your area and we will sort out the problem easily. We hope and trust that the situation may improve in the days to come. We solicit your continued patronage and cooperation. We request you kindly to do the needful at your end to boost the sales. Yours faithfully.